All right, so we're gonna use the wall to stretch our hamstrings. And I think getting the hamstrings a, a really nice stretch can be challenging at times. Um, so you're gonna grab yourself, I have a stool, but grab yourself a chair, anything that can help you. I'm gonna take my feet away from the wall, hip distance, a little bit wider than hip distance really. And I'm gonna straighten my legs and I'm gonna press my tailbone into the wall. So I'm gonna send my tailbone there and I'm gonna take my upper body uh, straight forward. I'm gonna put myself onto a chair and I'm gonna straighten my legs. I'm not gonna lock them, but I'm gonna straighten. And I'm gonna bend my knees, keep my tailbone reaching into that wall and straighten. Tremendous stretch through here. Obviously release, now I'm gonna reach, reach reach those hips and I feel that stretch through my lower back because when the hamstrings are tight the lower back is tight here we go reach 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 hold and down stretch reach 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 and back two more like this stretch and back one more and stretch now if this feels pretty good to you you can put yourself down on your elbows. Woo-hoo! Shoulders down, really reaching that tailbone back. If it's too much of the legs straight, soften the knees. Press into the wall. It's going to help you. Woo! Breathe. And then slowly come on up. Soften the knees. Tuck the tailbone under and come on up. And you saw I was not there for three hours. I was there for a few seconds, maybe more. You do what feels comfortable in your body. Always listen. That's what we're learning. How can we become better listeners for our body? Always listen. But I'm telling you, try this stretch. The wall is your friend. It will help you. It'll make you feel better in your body. And as always, when you do, allow your body to feel good. Your body will always thank you.